Hi and welcome to Song Froy Tales of Werewolves, Tome 1. This this playthrough is going to be a very much a I've just bought the game, downloaded it, started playing. As you can see there's no save data or anything, just gonna be starting a brand new game. So you'll be seeing me learning the game as well basically. Um Song Froy is a game well you play as one of the two lumberjacks and you've got to well hunt wells it's a strategy slash sort of action game um, during the day you do all your strategy plots play, it's tower defense sort of style you place your strategy about how you're going to go about stopping these werewolves getting to your huts or your other buildings and then during the night you go into a mode where you've got to go out and kill the werewolves using what you've placed during the day to aid you and the main story is that your sister is wanted by the devil so he's sending all these beasts and stuff to try and um, get to her so let's get a new game uh, select a hero jack high difficult let's go for joss as it's normal uh, difficult level normal joss excels both in close combat and with traps Joss was a sickly child and almost died after a ball fell, fell from a tree, but his mother, a famous Innu witch, used her magic spell so effectively to heal him that he grew with an iron constitution and extraordinary strength. Enticed by the high pay they offered him, Joss took a job as a lumberjack at the W. Hood Company at a very young age. After the forced exile of his brother Jack, who was wanted by the authorities for his role in the Patriot rebellions of 1837, Joss bought a little property in the village of Wolves Vale, where he lives with his sister Josephine. Let's go with that one. Got to create a profile. This is a beta game by the way, so just excuse anything that sort of pops up. We are on day one. Well, not day one, it's the fifth apparently. But as we go, it's day one. <coughs> Sorry if I cough a lot, but it's because I've got a bit of a bad throat at the moment. Wolf. For some time now, many villagers in Wolves Day have noted a lot of strange behaviour coming from the wolves in the forest. Acting more aggressive than usual, there are rumours that they have been possessed by the devil. Is your recommended traps? Oh, tip at the bottom. If you deplete your stamina gauge, recover will, recovery will take longer. In combat rolls are very useful to dodge attacks. I like this layout, how it tells you a little bit about the enemies you're going to be facing, as well as giving you help. Hmm. Chapter 1 Exile and Reunion. December 5th, 1858. As I live and breathe, if it isn't my little sister, Josephine, what good wind blows you through the deepest, darkest forest to see your hermit brother? More like a storm, I'm afraid. The parish priest went crazy and jumped me like a demon when I was dusting the sacristy. I tried to fend him off with a candelabra, but a candle fell on the floor and the church caught fire. Ever since, the whole parish of Woolsvale says it's my fault. That's just crazy. Doesn't make any sense at all. But hey, don't just stand there like you're holding up the door. For the thing is, you see, Jacques, I'm not alone. Don't worry. It wasn't my idea to come here, brother. He does not look happy. Without Joseph to protect me, the villagers would have torn me to pieces in the village square. He can't live there anymore either. Please, Jacques, for the love of our mother, let bygones be bygones and let us both stay here with you. Did you hear that? Uh -oh. Sounds like greens outside spooking our horses. Since you're going to be living off me, Josie, might as well make yourself useful and chase it away, will ya? Meanwhile, I'll heat up some tea for our sister. You best take good care of her. She's got a fever. Well, they are definitely not happy with one another. Here we 
go, head to the waypoint, find the horses. That's kind of already understood that one. Oh, here we go. Wow. I'll be damned. The horses are dead. And your wolverine looks a lot more like a wolf, Jackie boy. The pack must be close by. Not good. Are we gonna go? Oh, kill the wolf eating the dead horse. We are on it. Oh, you earn money per kill, apparently. Not very much, but... And the stamina's down at the bottom. Um, killed him, what are we doing now? Oh. There we go. Bridge on fire. The bridge to the village is burning. Looks like it will be staying with Jack longer than expected. Oh, what's this? Combat. Your health is represented by the red bar at the bottom of the screen, while your stamina is represented by the green bar. You use stamina for each attack you make. If you run out of stamina, then your attacks are slow and weak. You accumulate rage for each attack you land on an enemy. The fire on the HUD and on your axe indicates that you have some rage built up. Right click to unleash all your rage. To evade enemy attacks, you can press the space bar to perform a dodge roll. That was very frame ratey there. Kill all the nearby wolves. Oh. Go for him. Oh, catch my breath. Get out of there. Come on. Let's go for him. Come here, wolf. Come on, attack. There we go. What we like. Uh, I guess we're going to be heading up in this direction. Save the miller. With the tree. May Saint Anne have mercy on me. For the love of God, please. Better go help him out, I guess. Can't just leave the poor bastard up there. What now? The rifle. To reload your rifle, hold down the control key. To reload faster, click the right mouse button repeatedly. This icon appears when your rifle is loaded. Your crosshair will be red if you have no target, or if your <coughs> target is out of range. It will be yellow if you're auto-locked onto an enemy. If you aim carefully for the head, the crosshair will turn green, and you can make a headshot, like causing maximum damage. Videos. Left click to fire. I like that. The, the amount of ammo school, you have yeah. remaining is shown at the bottom left of the screen. Then, hold down control to use your rifle. 
I'm trying to reload fast for a pretty quick and right click. I like that, the little flashing blue at the bottom. Okay, let's see if we can get a headshot going on here. Stop moving. Okay, not going to stop Let's go for the other one, he looks a bit easier for this. There we go, headshot. Oh, oh, oh. Probably won't be able to... Okay, we're going to have to cancel this and just go in with the melee. Rage, but it doesn't really seem worth it. There we go. What are you doing up there? Is that it? Walk a bit further. There we go. The good Lord has sent you. Without your help, I would have been devoured like a rabbit. Hard to miss you, Miller. I think they heard you all the way in Quebec City. Be careful. There's a pack of rabid wolves around here. No shit. How many? Dozens. Hundreds, maybe. They even blocked the road from my mill in the east. Go see by yourself if you want. As for me, I'm gonna run and hole up at the W. Hood Company. You do that. Sprint. Oh, more wolves. Oh, run out of stamina, but what now, you Fear frame factor. breaky video? When you're in combat, the fear factor meter appears at the bottom of the screen. This meter represents the time you have before your enemy's next attack. The more your enemies fear you, the greater the distance between both icons and the more time you have before the next attack. However, enemies aren't as afraid of you with each passing second, in which case the icons start to get closer. When your enemy's fear factor is equal to yours, the icons touch and your enemies attack. If you're running low on stamina, it's better to keep your distance and let it recharge. Be careful though, even if you have a higher fear factor, enemies will still attack you if you're too close. Well, that's that. Go the old musket shot. Oh. Out of range. Let's get a bit closer. How close do we have to be, do you reckon? Apparently that's close enough. Let's go for the shot. Headshot again, come on. It's very sensitive. Damn it, nope, that wasn't a headshot. But he's not happy about it, that's for sure. Well, that did not take them long to start attacking me. That's one. I'm back here, you. Oh, we're out of stamina. Bag it. You try and attack all you want. You ain't getting near me. Going. Uh, let's just go straight ahead. No, maybe not. Told me off for that one. Head to the waypoint. <coughs> Big tree across his road. Pack management. When you attack multiple enemies at the same time, your chances for survival drop. So it's important to know how to intimidate your enemies to space out their attacks. There are two ways to intimidate your enemies. First, 
Every time an enemy takes damage, its fear factor decreases. Second, the icon at the bottom of the screen is one of your special abilities, the intimidating shout. Press the Q key to shout and intimidate your enemies. <laughs> Don't forget, that a brilliant shout. the distance between the two icons is how long you have before the next attack. Take this time to reload your gun and let your stamina recharge. Lastly, the paw symbol over an enemy's head means it's next to attack. Always pay attention to them. Alright then, I guess we're going to be attacked by a pack now. Go on then. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. We've got plenty of time. Get on with it. No, we don't. Stop. He's coming for it. There we go. Oh, is he coming for an attack? Yep, we're gonna. Just beat the crap out of him. That'll get him back. No stamina. Gotta go away. Get out of it. Oh god, we're at stamina again. Run away. We got a rage attack. Jeez, that. That's where we've got him. Ah, oh, come on. One more. Come on, attack! There we go. It's slow to react sometimes. Unless we're hunting down packs in this area. Let's head up this way. We haven't been this way yet. Hello? The fuck? Oh there. Just realized my phone's going off, that's no good. To the right of the screen you'll find the status icon for your building. Wolves and other creatures can damage your buildings if they manage to destroy one, you fail the night. Drink the Canadian whiskey in your pack. The whiskey the Canadian whiskey enrages you, allowing you to do special attacks. Fair enough. Take a few shots. See if we can get a headshot in. Nope. Okay, let's just go for a normal one. That'll do. Yeah! I'll make stew from what's left of you, dang nevin. Come on, hit him. Oh god, no, I don't want to die. I he just died playing. Fuck off! Can't do anything. Dodge, run. Leg it. Again, we've got no stamina. Go back to attacking the building, leave me alone. If I just keep running, eventually it'll stop. There we go. Let's go, dang it. Come on, we got time. Reload! Like a tool, that's going up really quickly. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, 
Oh, dodge. 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 Shout. Knock him off a bit. Reload. Come on. There we go. Ah, oh, come the fuck off of it. Just go in there. Fuck it. Let's get this one. No, we're not going to do it. Run. There's a shout again. Reload. Come on. Reload. Headshot. What's the other one doing? He's nearly attacking. Fuck off. Yeah. What are you gonna do now? Reload. hit in there. There we go. Nearly dead but we managed it. What now? Oh there we go. Yay! by the devil what happened I don't know she started shaking like a crazy person then she let out an awful scream and fell to the ground damn it I asked you to watch her there was nothing I could do go get dr. Lamontang I don't know what happened but the bridge to Wolf's Vale was burnt down we'll have to wait till morning Wow, tense. Okay, we're gonna have to oh, we'll see if there's a cutscene first. If not, we're gonna have to end this episode. It's, otherwise, it'll take me ages to upload it. I love the art in this as well, and the music. I'm just loving it so far. <laughs> Most of the games I'm playing at the moment, I'm enjoying. Um, when the solo of you is the devil. Oh, they're very law based as well, which is brilliant. Chapter 2 Desires and Regrets, December 6th, 1858. My lord. I want to press escape me. to see if I can pause I it, but I don't know if it will just skip the cutscene. What have I done? What have I done? You're only a man, LCR. It's the Who's devil. You? Who are you? But you just now invited me. When you tried to attack your servant Josephine after she'd refused your advances, I thought we had some affinities. But when you let the fire spread in your church after Josephine hit you with the candelabra, when you accused her in front of all the villagers of the crime that you had in fact committed, that was when I knew we were going to do great things together. <laughs> he has a and brilliant that is laugh. That brings me here to make an offer you can't possibly refuse concerning your lovely and inaccessible servant. Rape. Okay, we got a menu up there. Can we go to that now? Okay, we'll do this first. In this mode you'll play, be able to place traps. This is where the strategy bit comes in. And the forest is strategically plan your defense for the coming night. Ooh. Wow, 
That's pretty bad times. Omens. The omen cards represent Josephine's visions, and they help you plan your defense for the coming night. This shows the type of enemy that will attack. Leaving your cursor over a card will show you a lot of information about that enemy type. This is the number of enemies that will attack from this area. The attacking order of the omen cards depends on what wave they belong to. During the night, a new wave will not attack until the previous wave has been defeated. You can choose which waves you see on the map with the filters on the right side of the screen. The last icon on the card represents what their target is for the night. In this case, it's your house. If you click on a card, you'll see the enemy's path to their target. Plan your strategy with the help of these omen cards. That's really well, well, well done. Ah, it's talking all the time. Click on the wolf trap to select it. Okay, I've got a wolf trap. Click on the ground near the circle to place a wolf trap. Place another one. Uh, no, because I'm pretty sure they just run into it. I'll also try to lower the other beast and the hanging nets. You have to shoot it while it's up. Watch that in the um, developers thingy. Okay, I've fin finally finished setting my traps. Now I just have to wait for nightfall. You start every night at your house. Click on the start night button to test. To plan to test. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. Um, we will be playing more of this game because well, it looks awesome. Hopefully the frame rate issues be set settled. It is in beta, so you got to take it on the chin, really. Uh, if you enjoyed it, like, favorite, share, um, submit, bleh, subscribe if you're enjoying the videos, all of them. Um, and thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed it. I've enjoyed playing it and talking to you guys about it. So thank you very much and goodbye.